This is the plaintiff, Brenda Diggs. She says she gave the defendant a deposit to paint her house. He told her he was going to start in a few days. Weeks went by and he didn't show. And she's lost faith in him and wants her money back. That's right. He can't just steal her hard-earned money. She's suing him for the $300 she gave him and feels she has an open and shut case against this guy. This is the defendant, Richard Rogers. He says he doesn't know what the problem with this lady is because he started the job and her husband fired him. He scraped her house, primed one side of it, and was then cussed out by the husband. He earned his 300 bucks and then some. And if you ask him, he thinks the judge will agree. He's accused of doing nothing. All parties, please use your radiance. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff gave the defendant a deposit to paint her house. Guy took the money and ran. But the defendant says he started the job, but her husband fired him. It's the case of Primer. He hardly knew her. Thank you, Douglas. You're Brenda Diggs. You are suing Richard Rogers, doing business as Creative Touch Painting, for $300, a deposit that you gave him to paint your house, which he never painted. Tell me what happened. I hired Mr. Red Rogers to uh, paint my... Uh, property and um, I when met, did you hire him I uh, met with him he um, signed an agreement what day is the agreement signed October 17th 17th do you have mm -hmm. the agreement with you yes I do may I see it Thank you. are you the, uh, how did you get this ag agreement when you say you had him sign an agreement did you take this off the internet or something uh, yes I did okay mm -hmm. good for you okay did you read through this and sign it and all that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so go on. Okay, um, I uh, paid Mr. Rogers three hundred three hundred dollar deposit. Mm-hmm. He agreed to uh, to paint the house for fifteen hundred total. For, for fifteen hundred dollars total. Right. And um, he was going to get started immediately. And I never heard back from Mr. Rogers. Um, for for at least about two and a half or three weeks, I didn't hear anything from him. So um, I sent him a text message um, about five days later informing him Wait, that, five days later or two and a half weeks later? Um, in the, before I heard back from him, which was two and a half weeks later, before that I sent him a text message. And that was five days after the contract? Right. And what happens? And when he responded, he told me he had been um, in the hospital and that he had death in the family. And um, he asked me if I would give him more time. So, you know, you know, after listening to his circumstances, I agreed to give him more time. Okay. And, but I told him that he had to get started immediately. And th so this is now, like, about the beginning of November? Right. And what happened? He didn't get started. I he didn't, didn't get, get started at all? He didn't do anything to your house? No. He, you know, he, he called me back and told me he was having problems trying to find a ladder. A ladder? Right. A ladder? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Did he start on your house at all? Did he do any work on it? No. No scraping, no priming, nothing? No. All right. Let me hear from you. Uh, your Honor, I, start, I, started, I started the job way before they uh, even gave me the money. Follow what I'm saying? It was like two days before I started the job. Started scraping my son and my cousin. We started scraping the house. My cousin went back over there a day later and started priming the, uh, the property. So I don't know what she's talking about. Do you have any proof of that? Yeah, I do have a, uh, some pictures. But Slash. why didn't you paint the house? You were supposed to paint the because house. Because weather happened? permitting. It was October. And it rains, you know, it was cold, so I couldn't really do anything. What, what do you do? You take people's money and you say you're no. going to paint their house, but October's not a work month? I mean, No, I it's not. I'm not okay, saying that. Okay, right. So what does that mean? Because it, was, it wasn't just October. It was October, right. November, December. Right. Right. right, but she told me don't come back over to the property. After when did she tell you that? I can't recall. Right. See, the contract that she pulled off the internet, she's a smart cookie, and the contract that she right. pulled off the internet actually says time is of the essence. Right. That means you can't just sit back and give all your, the dog died, I was hospitalized, there's been a death in the family. Normally, contractors don't say there's been a death in the family and I was hospitalized in the same excuse, because then they lose one of those to say later. I never, I never I, recall I mean, just saying that. Say, yeah. Was there a death in your family? No. I okay, never said did you that. tell her there was? I never said that. Okay, did he tell you there was? Yes, he did. Okay, were you hospitalized? No. Okay, did you tell her you were? No. 
was did he tell you he was hospitalized? Yes, he did. Okay. For what reason? I have done this for so long. Do you have any idea how many? Apparently, no one should go into contracting work, because if they do, their lives will be plagued with death in the family right. and uh, hospitalizations, and because that's the excuse all the time for when people don't do their job. So how long do you have to wait before you can bail on a job after it's supposedly supposed to start? It depends on the contract. Give me a, give me a, uh, just a rough. A uh, reasonable period of time. Which is? 30 days. 30 days? I'll buy that. Going inside the courtroom. Do you have the text back and forth with him? Yes, I do. May I see the text that you have back and forth with yes. him? And yes. And can we get these pictures back up? Thank you. You want your picture? Can you come on up here? I want you to tell me if this is your house. Okay. Yes. So he's saying that they did that, the priming that you see there. That was someone else that had painted, that had worked on the house prior to the Prior time. to him? Prior to him, <coughs> right. Do you have any proof of that? Yes, I do. You have a contract with the someone that was prior to him? Mm hmm May I see that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Back Plot thickens. Did you do this work or did your son do this work? Well, my cousin did the priming and my son and I scraped, scraped the house. Had work been done on the house before you? Yeah. Okay. I'm so how am I going to tell what, what part was done by you? And, what, just and either way, why is it that sh you shouldn't have to return the deposit if you breach the contract and it's already... Did you already hire somebody else to paint? No. No. Not after him. Okay. So he's admitted that there was work that was already done beforehand. And this is the company that you hired beforehand that you ended up not using. What happened with them? The same problem. They just don't show up after they get the money. Right. Don't pay the money until they show right. up. Right. And then. Oh, goodness. But that put party end up paying the money back, so. Okay. You know. um, do you have any affidavits from the people who no. you say? No. Do you have anything else? Because I can't tell from looking at that whether that's the... She's actually got proof that somebody else was out there. Yeah. I don't know what you did or didn't do. I know that you didn't do the job. Right. I know that you... I agree. So... Well, you know, after, after a, a, a period of time, her husband said, don't even come back. So I don't I, blame him. Would you have you come back? No. Okay, return the $300. $300 verdict for the plaintiff. All right. So without question, the plaintiff prevails, Mr. Rogers. I, I can't believe you're surprised at the well, judge's decision. It right? is what it is. So. Maybe better not take a job like this. Yeah. Again. Or show up. Yeah. When that's you true. know? Good idea? Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Right, okay. Thank you, thank you very right. much. Okay. okay. Good luck to you. All right. <laughs> Ms. Diggs, you are one calm lady, I must tell you. <laughs> you are taking your time. This is a pain that you had to go do through this, but yes, you feel it better was. now? Yes, I do. I feel a lot better. Why? But next, I'll feel even better next time. Just make sure I hire the right person. <laughs> There's got to be somebody out there who can help you. Yes, I hope so. Well, good luck to you. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take your time. All right. <laughs> All right. Harvey? Okay, she was really smart, Doug. She wrote, time is of the essence. Those are magic words when it's really important to get the job done by a specific date. Time is of the essence.